Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 18th episode of Dororo. Now last episode, we took kind of, a, kind of a break from the whole Dororo thing to focus more on Hyakimaru and what he's kind of been up to. And he actually ran into Jukai, you know. Uh, wanted to get a lake from him, but, you know, didn't really work. He didn't want to give it to him because he didn't want him to... He didn't want to encourage him to go pursuing killing demons, I, I guess. So, with that didn't really work out. However, I think we had like a nice hug or something and some nice family bonding, so I'd say it was fine in the end, you know, they love each other, and that's all that really matters, I guess, with their father-son's relationship that they have, you know, because he's much more of a father to him than his real father is, who literally tried to feed him to demons just to make his country better, you know, so not not a great dad, ex exactly, so yeah, I, I assume we're gonna shift back over to Dodoro now, because she's, I mean, she's still in trouble. You have Itachi trying to get her family treasure. You got Shark Boy trying to attack them because one of his sharks is dead. But I think one's still alive. But one's still pretty dangerous. So that's a problem. Uh, luckily, Lava Girl's not around there. But Shark Boy is still a problem. So let's get to do it and see how we uh, deal with that problem. So three, two, one, play. <coughs> <sighs> Mappa. Yeah, of course we gotta reshow this scene. <laughs> yeah, this is what he found out about the, the secret of the map. You know, now that I saw that scene a second time, all Dora would have had to have done to hide the map was to lay on her back instead. But, you know, I can understand why she didn't do that. I'm just saying, in retrospect. Yeah, and he thinks he's entitled to it, even though he screwed over your father. Yeah, good thing those things can't come to land. Be a lot of meats. I could probably feed a small village. You know what also hurt? All the people you fed to him. Seriously, I have very limited sympathy for you two. You know, you have my permission to kill most of them, but... But just, you know, leave Dororo alone. Dororo did not agree to any of this. It's kind of was forced along. Okay. But uh, what just happened? I'm hoping that shark didn't jump out of the water and start walking on land, because that could be a problem. Also, I'm pretty sure sharks can't do that, so... I mean, even if they had legs, like gills, so it still need to have, you know, water. And they wouldn't be able to breathe on land, is what I'm saying. One day you'll be happy like that again, Dodoro, I hope. Slicey, slicey, the demons. You know, Dororo is in that scene as if he's like fighting alongside Hyakimaru, as if they're like partners battling. But I mean, Dororo hasn't really done much fighting in the show. I don't think. Like, she still rocks at people, I guess, but... I don't see Dororo taking on any demons anytime soon. I'd like to touch you one day. <laughs> the story of the Cape of No Mercy.
So, how many people are we going to lose out of Itachi's group? I'm, I wonder. Maybe all of them. How well can you find a map? Follow a map in the dark, anyway. Meanwhile, back in the ocean. <laughs> Well, there are men there aren't very many predators that go after sharks, so I'll give you strong. Okay. I was way too much at Dororo as a kid. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I did comment on the meat and all that, but you should have a bit more hesitation in that to eat your- Oh, God! Oh, that is- It's somehow got even more terrifying. I'm kind of shocked that that was even possible. I disagree. Ugh. Yeah, that- If I was doing I'd probably wet myself right now. I was tied to a tree, and I think it was coming towards me. Nobody can blame you for doing so. Uh. Okay, we set Dororo free. That's good! But, you know, we knocked her against a tree, which is not good. Dororo did nothing wrong, and. Is that Hyakimaru? Because if so, it showed up at the right, the, the right exact right time. Okay. Okay, but uh, be careful. I'm glad to see them finally back together. I mean, you're important to him, so it shouldn't be that that, that is shocking. Broken excuse for a human? Well, screw you too. Look who's talking, buddy. But yeah, that's just... <laughs> I would not want to fight this, even on land. Oh, whoa, right to the eye. Oh, that thing is so hideous. Uh, there we go, keep stabbing it. It'll die eventually. Just gotta put enough holes in it. Whoa. <laughs> Get smacked by your own monster. Come on, final shot. Boom. Judging by the music, I assume this is the end for it. Because that was like right to the brain. Put it out of his misery, really. Just look at that thing. So, can we talk now? Or is it just time for hugging? Or, <laughs> or cheek pinching. That's that's nice too. Kind of remind me of one shot. A certain shot of the opening. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Dora was ready for that sudden closeness. But yeah, this is this is really nice. He's being affectionate. He hasn't seen you for a while. He was worried. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sweet though. Yeah, here we go. Now we get the reaction from Dodoro, who's obviously missed him as well. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really... There we go. I know it's been rough, but he did his best to get to you, and he got to you eventually. Are you okay? Oh, oh yeah, he killed the demon. He should be getting something back now. I, I kind of forgot. And his leg, okay. He got his leg back anyway. Yeah, but it took me a couple of seconds to realize what was happening. Of course, he killed a demon. Of course, he gets something back. It just didn't click with me. So, what's it like to have a leg? And meanwhile, things aren't going well for him at all. It was justified. He tried to kill Dororo. Well, in this context, he killed it to save Dororo. That just happened to be part of it, getting the limb back. And if we're talking value here, I would value my own leg over a demon shark anyway, so. 
there you go. Yakimaru has nothing to feel bad about, in my opinion. The more you say that, the more I doubt it's going to happen. You know, part of it is that I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, TV shows and stuff where... Oh, wow. Ouch. Where characters, like, get a treasure map or something happens to them where they have a chance to get really wealthy all of a sudden, and then things just don't work out for them and they're... They remain the status quo as far as their financial situation goes. I've just seen that a lot in fiction, so it's kind of what I imagine here as well as a result. The most recent example of that was an episode of the Big Bang Theory, where they supposed they had a bunch of Bitcoin, but then, you know, lost it. Ooh, pirate ships? I thought I saw pirate ships. I can't quite tell they're too far away. And I have a fairly small monitor. Oh, they are ships. Okay. So I was right. I was second guessing myself, but there we go. Ships. Not pirate ships, but that would have been cooler. So yeah, Tahamaru's here to make things more interesting. Probably the one Yakimaru used. You believe correctly. Yeah, who cares about that? I a bunch of hooligans trying to get rich, I mean, that's no big deal. What could possibly happen from that? Yeah, samurai, your favorite thing. So... Oh! <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't talk so loudly. Sound travels, you know. Well, what's your plan, Itachi? Now that karma's come for you. Kinda getting black... black sales flashbacks. With all this treasure and multiple factions and all that. Oh! <laughs> you still... Did Roto just throw rocks at him? That's what she does, so... Which is funny because I commented on that earlier. That Dororo throws rocks. And there you go. A few minutes. What are you going to accomplish in a few minutes? You know, I have expected him to like open its mouth and crawl inside. I wouldn't put that past him. But still, I have basically no feelings for that weird shark boy shark relationship there. They can try to make me have sympathy all they want, but it's, it's I got nothing. Well, good treasures are not are easy to find. We don't got time. Let me have a map. Not your money, that's the whole thing. Okay. Elaborate. <laughs> I love his simple Japanese because I can actually understand it. Well, okay, a case of point, explosion. And, uh, okay. Kind of got an arrow there. Look, it didn't hit your knee, honestly. But I guess it's about to leave it into- oh, god. I mean, you never really know when an arrow's coming. Oh. Oh. Is this weapon, like, bluish to 
Don't uh, Yakimaru. Can I see that right? I don't know. I have to go back to that later. He remembers his name. <laughs> Totoro unintentionally unsheathed his weapon for him. Okay. Yeah, his weapon looks blue. I could have sworn Adam Alex and Adam and Alex were green. At the very least, a statue of the mothers was the little, little thing. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Oof. Yeah, this is a... I don't know if this is a good fight for us. There's like arrows flying everywhere. Ah. Can you stop kidnapping Dororo for five minutes? Oof. Close. Oh man, Dororo, uh, Yakimaru's really... doing well in the fight, surprisingly. This is not a good situation. I don't know, he's had a lot of thinking to do. Kinda trying too hard now. I don't know about that. How dare you exist. It's not really his fault, though. And it's kind of twisting the logic to get to that conclusion. Ouch! That tree offered very poor defense. Ugh. Yeah, this just got a lot worse. Okay, was that our blade? Oh, that wasn't his blade. It all happened so fast. But it probably was. Well. <laughs> well. But. Yeah, all we need is a treasure and then to be able to then escape, you know, Daigo Saber. Ow. Samurai. Arrow to the back that time and just throws his sword. <laughs> it actually did something. That's kind of impressive. And is this going to be where he Itachi falls? That was a lot of arrows. I think this may be Itachi's end. Although Yakumata's not doing very well either. Uh, I don't know if Yakimaru could actually kill Tahamaru though. This is a brother. See, a statue that offers much better protection than a tree. So, uh, Yakimaru should have hit behind one of those. Okay, Dono, don't break the ball. <laughs> just, okay, just sliding on down. That's what. <laughs> wow, looks like Dono's doubled up his rock throwing ability. Oh, ow, right to the... Everything. Yeah, very much enemy. Oh, that was gonna show us back into the arrow. That would've been cool. One of them is also your family, sort of, though. How about you not do that? Oof. Oh, cool flip, oof. I would love to do a flip in a sword fight. That'd be so amazing, but so impossible for me. Can you pull out some of these arrows, please? Uh, I mean, I guess I kind of get it, but it's not going to do you any good. But I guess if you have nothing to lose, might as well see it first. Not what I would request as a last request, but... Uh. Oh god, he does have more explosives. That's a problem. I thought he was just gonna set the area on fire. That's much worse. Some cause like an avalanche. Well, not avalanche. Rock slide. That's, you know. Whatever you call it. Ow! <laughs> well then. I think they're dead. Yeah, let's try to put this fight on pause. Yeah, it might be a good time to leave. 
Well, I guess it's not even better rock technique than what Dodoro had. Kind of ruining the environment a bit there, but... <sighs> so, how many of you survived that? Or at the very least, how many of you don't have broken limbs? Well, I don't really want Piago to die. He was kind of cool. Even if he was on the enemy's side. Well, they're still together. Yay. Question mark. So, are you still alive, Itachi, or uh, are you dead? Oh, you're still alive. Yay. You, oh, wow. Uh, there's something over there. You really do seem so obsessed with it. And it is ultimately what got you killed, so... Love it was worth it. You did get to see it before you died, so... You know, if that's... Any consolation, then... Good for you. Still don't like you, though. You're definitely not the worst person in the show, but I still don't like you. Well, I guess we're leaving. Our job is done. Question mark. So is Yakimaru and Dororo going to take this treasure? I mean, I don't know how much they could even really carry. That's also part of the problem. How would you even carry all that treasure? Like... What was Itachi's plan there? Even if the samurai, Daigo samurai didn't show up. He would have some explaining to do if he did meet him in some sort of afterlife. Like, yeah, sorry about betraying your family and all that and kidnapping your child and all that, my bad. <laughs> Well, that's fine, as long as nobody takes it in the meantime. I would at least take a little bit of it, like a handful or so, to buy food for a while. The important thing is that it's not stolen, so... That's what matters. But wow, that's a lot more than I expected, really. What, are you take some after all? <laughs> how is it different? <laughs> I... Sure, I don't see how it's different, but I'm okay with you doing it, so it doesn't matter to me. You don't have to justify yourself to me, it's your treasure. You can take as much as you want. Uh, it's, it's, I'm just glad things worked out. We're back together, Itachi's been dealt with. Daigo's son, Tahomaru, has been sent off. Shark Boy's dead, Shark Boy's sharks are dead. So yeah, pretty much everything's been wrapped up here in this arc. So, cool. So who is that blurry person supposed to be in this shot? Like, I can't quite tell. It feels like it's been forever since Dodoro and Hyakuma have actually been back together, doesn't it? Because they separate at the end of an episode. And Itachi got her. Kept her for a while. Had an episode of them together, had an episode of Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru got away from her. And then finally it came back together in this episode, so it does feel like it's been a few episodes. It's probably only been like two or three, but it feels like more. At least to me. At least to me. Yeah. 
Time to take it back. And Jiro Maru, yeah, he's been taken down. Been dealt with. Okay. That was the 18th episode of Dororo. This episode, we switched gears back to Dororo, like I thought. You know, you can't go too long without having Dororo and Dororo. That just wouldn't make any sense. So that's that's what we did. And uh, Hyakumaru did get over there and actually helped Dororo because we have the shark, Jiro Maru, whatever. Uh, he just kind of jumps on the... Uh, he just jumps on land, chomps up his shark friend, becomes even more demonic looking, but presumably, you know, apparently capable of moving around on land. It was a terrifying thought. Like, like, sharks are scary creatures, probably one of the scariest creatures in the world, you know, at the same level as... Roughly at the same level as stuff like crocodiles slash alligators, uh, rhinos, hippos, you know, tigers, stuff like that, you know, stuff that can kill a human that doesn't that doesn't have good, you know, weaponry on him and knowledge to use it, like creatures that could easily kill you if you're not very well prepared to deal with them. You know, sharks are like that. Uh, probably worse, probably more deadly than a lot of those, but only in the water. Like that's the one good thing is that sharks can't move on water. So if you don't go in the water, you're pretty much safe from sharks, you know. However, if a shark can just jump on land and start wiggling around and, eat, and eating stuff, they become a lot more terrifying. But uh, yeah, if you're in the water with a shark, then they're probably harder to deal with than most other dangerous creatures. Like, you know, alligators are pretty bad too. Uh, it's because, you know, you don't actually have to go in the water to get attacked by one. They'll like wait in the water and it's going to float like that. And then they wait for you to go up to the water and get some water. And then they just jump out at you and grab your arm and then twist around and tear your skin off. They're pretty scary too. But, uh, you know, yeah, they're, they're probably still easier to deal with than a shark in the water because, I mean, with an alligator or crocodile, you just got to make sure you keep its mouth shut and don't open it. And can't like, don't, don't let him get his mouth open, you'll probably be fine. Whereas a shark, I mean, it's much harder to, you can't really just do that plan. Kind of hard to keep a shark's mouth shut. Anyway, that was a big tangent. Anyway, the point is, shark was scary. Hyakimaru took it down, saved Dororo, and he got Shark Boy still acting like, you know, he's the victim here. Like, how dare you kill my shark just for what? A stupid leg? You think your leg's more important than my shark? And I'm just like, yes. Yes, I do think that. It's like, nobody's on your side, dude. You're just yelling to the void at people, and everyone's like, no, you're not. You're not right. Go away. Stop trying to kill my friends. My friend. It, it's not okay. And all that. So, yeah, just it's kind of funny. Kind of a dark way, but I just, I got some personally got some humor out of that character because <laughs> of some of the ridiculous things he seems to believe and do and just it's just kind of crazy but anyway yeah the, the reunion with Dororo and Hyakimaru was great you know Dororo was obviously a little bit uh, hesitant to fully go full-on emotional reunion with Hyakimaru whereas Hyakimaru like, he had no problem with that at all he just like straight up started touching her cheek and pressing up his forehead against her forehead and nuzzling it and all that like that then she starts blushing and all that. It was, it was like an embarrassment. It was pretty great to watch. Pretty great, you know. And she was initially kind of pushing back a little bit, but then eventually, you know, the, the emotional well damn broke and flooded through. And yeah, we, it was a nice scene. That's the point. It was a very, very nice scene. So that was good. Because, you know, she's been obviously been acting pretty tough for a lot of this, but she's still, um, she was still scared and worried and had a horrible experience. So it's, it's good that they're finally back together. Probably one of the better parts of the episode. Although there was plenty of action in the episode for sure, because, you know, Tahamaru showed up <laughs> to join the party, which definitely worried Itachi. They probably worried Itachi more than Hyakimaru. Like, I don't think Itachi really commented much on Hyakimaru being in there. Like, they didn't even register with him all that much. He was like, oh crap, Daigo's samurai are here. This is bad. <laughs> what do we do, guys? I mean, there are traps in the treasure. I could disarm them, but we know we don't got time for that now because Daigo's samurai are here. What do we do? And now arrows are flying at us and stabbing us, and one stabbed me, and it's horrible. <laughs> So, you know, that just everything kind of went downhill for him pretty quickly. And, uh, well, I mean, I guess Yakimaru ended up with Dodoro wasn't that much of a problem for him because he already got the map. He didn't really need Dodoro for anything anyway. So I guess that's why Yakimaru wasn't too much of a problem. But, you know, Tahamaru and his forces certainly were. And this, there was a whole bunch of fighting from there. It was really cool to see. Yaki, it's always cool to see Yakimaru and Tahamaru fighting. Unfortunately, there were other people to kind of you know, get in the way. Like, it wasn't just a one-on-one -on -one fight between the two of them, which would be really cool to watch. We had, uh, uh, not Mutsu, that's the girl. What's the guy? Hugo. Hugo joining in the fight and wh whacking his weapon around and all that, and Hyakimaru was still holding his own pretty well. 
Of course, he got stabbed in the back with an arrow because apparently trees can't block arrows very well, as well as a statue. So that's what he should have hid behind. So yeah, that was just pretty messed up though. He just had his back against the tree, feeling all safe, and suddenly, pew, ow, my back. This was a terrible idea. That's what happened with that. Uh, but, you know, despite all this, nothing really caused Itachi to falter in his desire for that treasure. Like, he was really desperate for that treasure. Like, very much coming across as super obsessed with it. Kind of like it's this white whale, you know, or whatever. It really came across like that to the point where he just wanted to see it before he died. Like, he got hit by several arrows, was going to die. There was no question about that. There was no... I mean, unless he got immediate medical treatment, which wasn't, wasn't going to happen there. He was going to die, so he was clearly going to die. Can't really have prosthetic limbs for multiple stab wounds all over yourself. But so that was a bad thing. But he still wanted to see the treasure before he died, even though that would have no practical benefit to him. Like, he's not going to change anything by looking at the treasure for a few seconds before he dies, but he still wanted to. And that goes to show a lot about how, how much he wanted that, how much he valued that, how much that was, like, all he thought about. All he prioritized, like nothing was above that, as far as that goes. So you know, Itachi, he was definitely a pitiful character, I guess. But I just, I don't like him. Ever since he betrayed Dororo's family, I've just not liked him at all. You know that uh, every time I just think of Itachi, I just think of that, just think of Dororo's mother cupping up her hands for that hot soup, that completely burning it severely for Dororo to have a little bit of food. That is still probably. <laughs> The saddest individual scene of the entire show. I still think that was. That was that was the hardest to watch. Like, you know, it didn't make me cry like a certain other scene did, but still, I think if I try to look at it objectively, that was one of the hardest things to watch for me. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I just I don't like Itachi at all because I associate him with all that tragic stuff that happened to Dororo. So that's kind of my thoughts on that one. But... We found the treasure. Nobody was there to take it. Tahamaru left. I guess he was done after the little rock slide. I guess that was the uh, I, uh, that was that was the moment we decided that it was time to leave for Tahamaru. And the treasure was still there. Nobody took it. I guess we're just kind of assuming it'll be there the next time we come back for it, which hopefully is the case. And Donoro did take a little bit though. He she said it was different, but I don't really see how. She took some treasure because she needed it to benefit herself, which is what would happen. Regardless of how much you take. But I mean, I agree that she should do that. Obviously, if you're struggling for food, it's okay to take a little bit of your family treasure to, to not starve to death. I think the parents would be okay with that. So I, I think it's all fine. Definitely a lot of treasure, though. See, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to touch on with the episode. We've pretty much fully ended off this arc now. I don't know what we're going to do next because this is episode 18 we have uh let me look up the anime on, on my anime list real quick to make sure i already have this tab up but i don't because i suck like that Dororo. yeah 24 episodes so yeah i assume the next six episodes will all be for one big arc to finish things off i don't know how we will end things off i don't know if this is going to, going to have a second season or not yeah if that's planned i don't know I guess we'll see. But uh, if it wraps up the story after 24 episodes, hopefully it does a good job of it. I mean, that's kind of where my thoughts are. So, yeah, really good episode. Glad things have gotten back to the way they should be. So. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.